Uh, this is from Kurt Bray. Keys to taking the left side out of play. Keys to take. That's a good one. We did we ever do something about to, hooking? To be honest, I'm not sure we have. Okay, uh, a couple of things. One is the more rotation, the better. Uh, we know that from from say a Hogan or a Garrigus or or a Litsky or a JB. Uh, the guys that rotate better will generally hit it straight or right and and then then it becomes a little more of making sure that the hands are are more out front here rather than we don't want it back here if you get your arms stuck back here right elbow stuck back there you've got little or no chance in avoiding kind of like the flip roll sort of release. I mean, and even if you were stuck back here, but then you actually get your hands out front, your path is gonna be so far to the right that it's gonna to tend to wanna to create more hooking. And what's Tennessee with closure rate when it comes so, to taking left out of play? Yeah, so closure rate has to be lower. Um, uh, I mean, that's obvious to us, but then it's not obvious to the guys who follow that orange box thing. Um, but basically, yeah, the more, the more you're actually holding off, the more you actually can even go this way, that's going to help keep the ball from going left. Which, you know, we like patterns um, that, of players, whether it's like Keegan Bradley or Roy McIlroy who draw the ball. Yeah. Who, once again, needs to be a stable draw with body rotation and a low closure rate. That's right. But our kind of pattern leans more towards taking the left side out of play. That's right. More rotation and uh, less closure rate, more stable club face. You know, every good player fights the big miss left, plain and simple. Yeah. Well, and the other thing might be uh, contact. Anything towards the heel is going to generally promote the hook. Generally, yeah. In a better player, hit the hook means increase the closure rate, increase hook. Okay. Okay, Kelvin, this next question is from Don Daly. Can you explain how the wrists work in the backswing? Example, like a hammer. I don't even know what the heck that means. I feel like people sometimes come like you go on YouTube and people are like, this is how the wrists work. Oh, you mean the, the whole golf machine crap? Okay, the, the wrist basically is capable of circumduction. If, if people don't understand that, it just means we can move circular. So there's some theory that says, well, the left wrist can only go RD, UD, and the right wrist can only go flexion, extension, I mean, I don't buy that because we can move it in any kind of way. Now, typically in the drive hold pattern, a guy with a strong grip has the left wrist in extension, and it's also in a bit of pronation here, but as we take it back, this left wrist will turn to be a little more flat, or if, for Dustin Johnson, it's actually bowed, and then the pronation starting point turns into supination here. So then the right, right wrist would be the opposite. We kind of want to start, if we're really strong, we're going to be supinated in the forearm and we're going to be a little bit like a flat or closer to flexion right wrist. And then we'll actually move toward extension back here. And then we're going also pronation. So we're, we're basically reversing what we start with. Because if we did, I, I mean, if we start with a very weak grip and we got the opposite, then we, we will move the opposite and we'll be like this. So perfect. I mean, let better be happy with you guys. Yeah, and that's the thing that we keep going back to that we'll keep reiterating over and over is it's, it's all about your specific pattern that's right. and making sure your patterns match up with your own swing. Yep. You know, and that's why we said in our last video on the golf tips is that it's not a method. If, yeah. it, the only ways, way anybody would ever teach a method is if 50 PJ Tour players all swing, swung the same way. Yeah. If they were all at the same face angle, same plane, same body movements, but it's not. So you can't put through people through this rigid, strict formula. You have to have this grip. You have to have this backswing, this face angle at top. Yeah. I mean, it's like if Gary Woodland were to come over and say, hey, what can I do to get better? I wouldn't touch his grip. Yeah. I mean, it's weak, yeah, but you know, he can do this, right? Same thing with if you follow Hogan. I mean, if you started with a weak grip and you could get back there, I mean, who would change that? Absolutely. Carter Jenkins, is better rotation, what Blair's working on, going to help the body get into better positions to hold lag? I'm working on better rotation, but holding lag is also something I need to work on in the future. Just wondering if this will sort of kill two birds with one stone. Well, I think he should probably be working on both at the same time, because, because if we're casting, right, if we're getting the, the right arm wider and we're releasing the wrist angle here, um, 
how can you rotate fast when you're right you got the moment of inertia being farther away it's harder to rotate so we've got to kind of put those two together uh, and then of course better rotation will allow you to power it with the body rotation as opposed to if we didn't have the body it, say we slide too far and we can't rotate already i mean we've got to hit with our hands we got to flip at it we got to do something to create some power for the ball to go out there right so if it's not coming from our stronger parts in our body then it's going to start coming from the smaller muscles smaller joints Gotcha. So kind of maybe like chicken and egg. Chicken and egg. You know, absolutely. so let's say if we don't know what's causing which, work on both. That's right. Dominic Scaletta. Is an upright swing okay as long as I drop it back in the slot and hit it well? I mean, I might be the only one who really loves a very upright backswing in a way. So, I mean, not that again, it doesn't have to be, not everybody has to be very upright, but I would say that's better for a better player than to be overly flat because again the, the the error for the better golfer is they get stuck they get too flat they get stuck their path gets too far to the right they hook they block so a more upright swing gives you more availability to keep the arms in front of the body yeah i mean just just look at um the, the swing of somebody like like sean lou it's crazy upright yeah. Keegan Bradley too. Keegan Bradley used to be a lot more upright. You see, he, he, he's yeah. flattening. He's little, flattening. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's stacking a little okay. left and all that. Okay, Kelvin. Next question up is from Oliver McCor. Hey, Gabe, what's the best drill to help cure a shallow backswing? Okay, so we'll look at two important parts. One would be what we went over with the wrist uh, bending. Um, and the other is in the scapula shoulder because at the start of the backswing, again, one of the things that we, we see oftentimes is this whole uh, Jim Hardy one plane, pull the lawnmower cord back and then you're so flat on the inside or you do this kind of fanning. So first of all, the most important one would be to get the shoulder. We want to feel like the left shoulder is going down and the right shoulder is going up so we create that. Uh, the, there's a great video of Seve Balaceros doing this uh, with the shoulders really, really getting tilted but the club stays right in front and that would mean that again the wrist is going this way rather than going this way and then of course the forearm, there's no forearm rolling where the right supinate left is going more pronation, we're going the other way, right? So we're actually feeling the kind of pronation on the right. Now Kevin, what's going on with the ribs and spine? in a proper backswing and an improper, more shallow backswing. Get okay. too flat, too behind Well, it. That, that'll come into for sure later, but as, as we start to roll this way, we start to bend the spine to the right. And then we rotate at the top and we got this right lateral bend. So actually face your back to the camera. That may be better to see from there. Yeah, so his, his spine goes up this way and comes to the right. It's a right lateral bend. And what we want is the left lateral bend. We want this rib cage to be pulling up in a way and that would create, again, a, a different bend of the spine, but it's up this way and then toward the left. So, so he's got a, a left lateral bend. And that's absolutely pivotal, pivotal right, Kelvin, if we're gonna kinda be in the right position to start our downswing sequence. Absolutely because then we're shifting from left lateral bend to right lateral bend. If okay. we're right lateral bend, we may have the tendency to come over, or you could do a right lateral bend backswing and try to come right lateral bend again, and then you're super flat. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, I think this is a better angle for me on the camera too, Kelvin. This yeah. is my better side right here. Yeah, his <laughs> uglier side is away from the camera. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to stay like this, okay, for the rest of the video. Okay, next kill question. Oliver Moore. Hi, Gabe. What is the best drill? Oh, that's the same question. Okay, so next one. Uh, Chris Summerton. Hey, Gabe, I'm really struggling with early release at the minute, resulting in a lot of fat shots. Does Kelvin have a swing thought or tip I could try? Okay, that's a huge can of worms there. Okay, so, so number one, go back to we need rotation. So if we need rotation, we need this, this pelvis moving correctly and starting the rotation. Um, the, the second major part would be the lag, which is, okay, so one, the wrist. We need to try to increase RD or radial deviation. So that will pull the, the hands in this way. The other is we want to go from what feels a little bit wider in the right arm to much narrower. So we really want to narrow this gap so that we got the club closer to the body, the arms are closer so we can rotate faster. And then the third is we want to keep the left arm from coming off the chest. We want to keep that 
basically like like uh, Dustin Johnson keeps it just glued to the chest coming down all the way so that again it's easier to rotate and then it'll just fly off the chest just before impact okay once again that's kind of some of the bigger concepts but without seeing your swing, you know, you might have to start with some of the backswing stuff or some of the wrist stuff like yeah, Kelvin talked about. Yeah, because we could have a, a root cause in, somewhere in the backswing. And then if you if you don't correctly identify that, then you're kind of, you know, you're not working smart. Yeah. I mean, that's what we're here for. Just just post up the video and, and uh, let's take a quick look. Okay, you guys, thanks for watching that video. want to thank our sponsors, Tory Pines, for uh, <laughs> providing the apparel. Um, we appreciate your support. Um, our other sponsors, um, Apple. Apple, the Honda Classic, and Oakley. Um, very appreciative of you guys. But if you guys like this video, please comment down below if you guys want us to make more videos like this or comment more questions you have. Please share this video, like it. You know, hit me up on Facebook. Hit Kelvin up on... Yeah, Kelvin's on Facebook, but he's a hard man to get a hold of. Hey, <laughs> I, I I'm not the one with 5,000 friends. <laughs> I saw, to deny people. I saw Kelvin's Facebook account the other day, other day and on notifications it had 83 on there. <laughs> so, you know, between Kelvin's uh, private certification instructors group, our membership site, plus his other page, plus his articles, his other website, KelvinMeHere.com, which is up and running, right, Kelvin? Yeah, that's right. So, only place to get the articles. Only place to get Kelvin's articles. So if you guys want Check out Kelvin's detailed articles, figure out what he's about, and then you can come by the membership site, mti.gabrowider.com, and we'll hook you guys up for sure. So thanks again, you guys. All right, thank you.